In this video, we're going to talk about sequential search, which is an algorithm to search an array to find a specific data item. The sequential search algorithm uses a loop to sequentially iterate through each element in the array, compare each element with the search value, and stop when the value is found or when it reaches the end of the array. And let's implement a sequential search in Java. In the class sequential search demo, I'm going to create an array of integers in the main method. Int square bracket, I'm going to name the array array and just give it some random values that are not sorted or anything and we're just going to enter a bunch of numbers like that. Okay, let's create a method called sequential search and the method should return the index of where that number was found. So the method header looks like this, public, static, int, because we're returning an index. Let's just call it search, where we will pass in integer array called x and an int key. We're going to search the key in the array called x. So we will simply loop through the array for int i zero while i is less than x dot length i plus plus and if x at index i is equal to the key we will simply return the index which is i and if it never finds it we need to return something so let's return negative one that will be our signal that we didn't find it in the array so let's try out our search the system.out.println statement, and let's call the search method here. Search, we'll pass our array name as an argument, and the key, let's search for 54. And this should return the index of where 54 is located, and it is six. Let's verify that by typing in a comment above of all the indexes. So 45 is zero, 67 is one, 23 is two, 50 is three, one is four, 505 is five, and 54, sure enough, is six. Now let's try a number that's not in there, like 55, and we should get negative one, because it didn't find it. So a sequential search, it basically starts from the very beginning of an array and checks every single element to the very end to find it. And if it finds it, it returns the index where it found it, and if it doesn't find it at all, you can return negative one as a signal that it was not found. We could have also printed out the results this way by setting int index of where it was found to the search results. All right, let's find a different one. Let's find 23. Let's skip that. And what we're going to do is if index is greater than negative 1, meaning that it's 0, index zero or something else, we could say that the system that out that print line item was found at index index else item not found. Okay. Make it a little bit simpler. We run the program and item was found at index two for 23. And let's try something that's not there, like 24, and it is not found. And by the way, sequential search will return the first result that it finds. So if you have the same number in there twice, you'll just get the index of the first element that it found in the array that matches. And that's pretty much it for a sequential search. It's pretty straightforward, and thanks for watching.